chosen to get out the toolbox of Jacob Epstein because as soon as we heard about spectacles this came to mind straight away so we're really lucky to have this toolbox which kind of came as it is from his studio um, so yeah we've got all the tools all the kind of candles the cut things like that but his glasses just seem such like a personal touch like even getting that toolbox out seemed really more personal than other items in Definitely. the archive, but just seeing like what he would have looked through. Wow. It's just so nice. That is beautiful. It's so great. And do we know any of the reason for the cave? No. How interesting. Oh, yeah, I have no idea. It's not in any of the paperwork or anything when it came in, nothing. I still don't know. Just the a found is. object. Yeah. How interesting. So what do we know about sculptors and spectacles? Not too much, really. <laughs> um, it's an interesting one that I was like looking through and actually I was surprised that I, I haven't seen many sculptures depicting spectacles either. True. Like, are they just the hardest thing to <laughs> yeah. try and put on? <laughs> so, okay. so has Cubits been influenced by sculpture? The other way around. Yes. Yeah. Definitely by kind of a lot of the modernist sculptors, so obviously yeah. Henry Moore, Barbara Hepworth and all of those as well. And you'll see it come through in either sort of like collection themes, so sort of like mm -hmm. maybe the use of like an organic curve or like geometry or things yeah. like that. Yeah, pretty much every collection has some kind of like inspiration from some kind of sculpture or art or design. And that's really that's important incredible. for us.